Hey gang, Matt with Atlas Precision Consulting. In this video, we're gonna cover something a little bit more advanced uh, that maybe you don't have permissions to, but it may be something you're interested in that you can talk to the people that do have the ability to do this. And I'm talking about adding a drill down or drill in, whatever you wanna call it. It's a DynaChange navigation. And, and you've probably seen this through a couple different parts of P21. You see this little square with an arrow that pops up. Um, what this does is this will take us into item master inquire for this item, but you can also add ones even if they don't currently exist. And in this example, I'm going to show you how to go from the shipments tab, which shows you your pick tickets uh, for an open sales order, uh, which is the transaction up here. Now you'll notice there's nothing here. I can't click. I can't go, but I want to go into the shipping screen. That's what I want to accomplish with this. So there's two steps to it. You have to pick a starting point and an end point. And again, this is permission based. So if, even if you don't have permissions for us, this is good to know. Uh, so maybe it's something you can request uh, your team or somebody like us to help you guys facilitate. So if you right click on the transaction number and you're gonna go down to the Dyna change, we're going to the navigator and this is our source. This is where we're starting from. And so I'm gonna click this and it's gonna tell you that that request has been successfully saved. After that, you need to go to where you want to end up, where you want that click to take you. So I'm going to right click on the pick ticket number field because I'm matching that transaction number, which is a pick ticket to the pick ticket number field in the shipping screen. Again, I'm going to go to dining change. I'm going to go to navigator. And instead of source, I'm going to go target. When I click on that, it's going to bring up a list of any sources that have been created that are waiting to be attached. And you can see that this is coming from the shipment transaction number which is obviously the pick ticket number that I created. You can see the date and time and who created it. So when I hit select on here and I click save, that's gonna now turn that box into a drill down. So I'm gonna log out real quick and log back in so you guys can see what that looks like. Okay, I've logged out, logged back in, probably didn't notice anything. Um, now I'm on my shipments tab again here and now you'll notice if I highlight over that transaction number, you will now see that square and arrow. So now when I click on this, even though I don't have the shipping window open, this is telling P21, oh, we need to open the shipping window and pre-populate that pick ticket field with this transaction number. So it allows you to go directly into shipping this if you're in the order. Um, so again, that applies to lots of different places in p21 that you can do this now sometimes it doesn't always work out if you're in somewhere that has a transaction number and they're different types um the ledger tab in item master inquiry is a perfect example they list all kinds of different in the same column there's order numbers pick tickets production orders those don't really work for these drill downs because um you need a one for one like we went from a pick ticket number to the pick ticket number field within shipping. Um, but again, we're gonna try to do some, some more of these DynaChange videos. Uh, if you guys like this, or if you have questions, or you wanna see other DynaChange videos, make sure you put comments down below. Uh, like and subscribe and stay tuned for this kind of stuff and some other stuff. Thanks guys.